Welcome back to SimCore Project episode 18. Sorry, I'm at 19. Apparently I can't count. A series where I'm showing off these sim racing setups of my viewers and hoping to give you all inspiration regarding all this hobby has to offer. This episode is packed with some insane setups, including one valued at over a quarter million dollars and owned by a single individual. Before we get there, remember that after watching this video, you can vote on your favorite setup in the community section of my channel and the top submission will receive a free pair of the highly sought after OC Racing gloves. Anyways, with that that said, and without further ado, let's get right into it. And starting off extremely strong, we have Matthew, a 43 year old who works in sales and seemingly does a great job at it, considering that he can afford this $8,000 sim racing build along with a 2020 M5 Comp he parks right outside. Enough with the real cars though, this channel is all about the fake ones, and on that note, Matthew's Track Racer TR160 cockpit is holding up his quad monitor arrangement made up of three Spectre 32-inch 4K displays with a generic 32-inch LG monitor on top. These displays feature the Asus bezel free kit and are held up using a Track Racer integrated monitor stand, a nearly identical build as I have right behind me. On that note, keep in mind that for your convenience, every single product I mentioned in this video can also be found in the video description in case anything can Catches your eye. Anyways, moving along, Matthew's gone with a Sim Magic ecosystem as he uses the Sim Magic Alpha U wheelbase paired with the. And are you ready for this? The Sim Magic GT1 steering wheel, the Sim Magic GTC steering wheel, the Sim Magic GT Neo steering wheel, the Sim Magic FX Pro steering wheel, and the Cube Controls F Core steering wheel. With the combined value of those wheel rims, you could probably buy yourself like a 2005 Honda Civic, but if you do want to take the route that Matthew did here, you should protect your expensive sim racing wheels with a sim shield wheel cover, available at sim-shield.com or now on Amazon. Anyways, right behind this wheelbase, there is also a ton more to cover, like this Race Logic lap timer and the Sim Panel R button box, both of which are very helpful, cool looking, and you already know, expensive. Of course, you can't forget a shifter and handbrake, and for that pairing, unsurprisingly, he's gone with the Sim Magic DS8X and the TBRS combo. Some other smaller things that are also worth noting are going to be his integrated keyboard and mouse stand, the emergency stop for his wheelbase, and even a cup holder right beside his track racer bucket seat. Down below, and one of the most important important components of his entire rig will of course be the RGB lit track racer mat and I guess also his Sim Magic P2000 pedals. Okay. <laughs> Matthew, I really hope that you use my Sim Magic discount code for all of that gear. <laughs> no. Anyways, and finally, powering this behemoth of a setup is an NVIDIA RTX 3080, an AMD Ryzen 5900X, and 32GB of RAM all housed in a Cougar Kratos case. Overall, this is an extremely well put together setup that even looks similar to mine. Of course, thank you Matthew for submitting, and remember to use your blinkers. <laughs> Up next and continuing with the extremely impressive builds is Matt from Ireland who has taken a way different approach with this setup. At only 16 years of age and a full-time student, Matt's simulator is fully enclosed with a PVC pipe structure and black fabric all around. As you can see from his onboard, this helps keep all the light out and the immersion at its highest. Also further helping with that will be the interior lighting that he's fitted at the top along with the wind simulator and safety harnesses all working together to create the most realistic experience possible. Interestingly though, despite his search for the ultimate immersion, he's chosen to go with a single ultra-wide monitor, that being the Samsung Odyssey G9. As per his other components, he's rocking a little bit of everything including a Simicube 2 Pro wheelbase with the Simicube Valo GT23 and McLaren Artura Ultimate Wheel. Around those, he also has a Race Logic lap timer which he has placed on top of an Elgato Stream Deck. More gear however is seen on his left hand side as he's gone with a Husenfeld sequential shifter, handbrake, and Moza HGP shifter. Of course, down below, some of you may have spotted the Husenfeld Ultimate pedals, and all of this high-end gear is being held up on the Nexel Racing FGT Elite cockpit. Finally, powering everything here is an NVIDIA 4070 Ti, an Intel Core i9-13900, and 64GB of DDR5 RAM. Overall, everything here works in cohesion to create an extremely impressive and intricate build. Thank you, Matt, for submitting. And now, taking a look at something a little bit more realistic, we have Elias, a 13-year-old from Denmark who claims to have spent $5,000 on this setup. At this point, I don't even know if you guys are just throwing out these numbers as like a joke, 
But anyways, he does have a pretty solid rig for someone his age. Starting off, he's rocking two AOC 144Hz monitors on the side with a 24-inch 165Hz display in the center. These monitors are being held up with what he claims is a random triple monitor mount and it ultimately does look really good. He has them placed only millimeters on top of his Moza R5 wheelbase which he uses with a Moza ES wheel with the Formula mod. Continuing along with the Moza ecosystem, you'll also find the SRP light pedals down below and all of this gear is being held up on a GT Omega Apex wheel stand. Of course, since this is not a dedicated sim racing cockpit, he's using an IKEA Marcus chair to sit, and overall, he seems to make the absolute most out of what he has. Ending off with his PC, he's rocking an RTX 3070 Ti, an i7-12700KF, and 32GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR4 RAM. Overall, and especially for a 13-year-old, this is a very impressive setup, but with some simple cable management and a little bit of wiping down every once in a while, could look even a little bit better. Either way, a really good job and thank you Elias for submitting. And now moving on to another realistic but extremely clean sim racing setup we have Andres who without needing to spend a small fortune has put together one of the slickest builds I've ever seen. Starting off and for his chassis he's gone with the rig metal aluminum profile cockpit with an NRG innovations bucket seat. On this he's gone the Fanatec route with the 8nm CSL DD with the Fanatec CSL BMW and Club Sport formula wheel. Down below he continues with Fanatec as he's got the CSL pedals with the load cell brake attached and back on top and one of the staples of his setup will be the massive 34 inch 144 Hz screen being held up by the next law of racing freestanding single monitor mount. His PC has a dual function as it's used for both his rig as well as his regular computer setup and it features an AMD Radeon RX 5600 XT, a Ryzen 5 3600, and 64GB of RAM all housed in a case that he doesn't remember the name of. Bruh. Overall, while the gear that Andres is using here isn't particularly mind-boggling, the way he has diligently done his cable management and keeps everything tidy, not only on his rig but also on his entire room, makes it look extremely good. So good that even his dog Coke Cody can feel right at home just sitting there. Anyways, congratulations on the rig and the overall room setup. Thank you, Cody, for submitting. Uh, I mean Andres, but I think we all prefer Cody. And now it's time for what we've all been waiting for, and this is without a doubt the most insane submission I've received to date, and unless like a Formula 1 team were to submit photos of theirs in the future, I really don't see how this thing is ever going to be beat. Sent in by Andy, a 46 year old engineer from Finland, this setup has been fully funded by himself and has set him back 350,000 euros. He claims that this rig is primarily intended to show off the LED technology of the screens, but it's also used as a charitable donation to help help Finnish drivers hone in their training. The chassis here is made from a genuine Aston Martin GTE cockpit and is placed on a custom-made 4D OF motion platform featuring PT actuators with a 300mm travel. Inside the cockpit, you'll find literally everything that you would expect, including a ton of carbon fiber and an Aston GTE steering wheel on a Cinecube Ultimate wheelbase. On top of that, he's also got a ton of other accessories like a RaceLogic lap timer, an SRS dual fin wind simulator, a V Telemetry Pro motorsport screen, and a BDH Bazooka H pattern shifter next to a SimTag handbrake. Unfortunately, Andy did not include any photos of the pedals used in this rig, but he did mention that they are custom made based off the Tilton Racing 850 series racing pedals. And if all of that wasn't enough for the immersion, this rig is also fitted with a PT Actuator Tension R active seatbelt mechanism, two Dayton BST-1 shakers, and even a broadcast system to live stream and record races. Now I know very little, if not nothing, about commercial LED panels, but Andy mentioned that there are 180 individual cabinets with 360 LED modules, altogether being 2.5 meters tall and providing a 180 degree field of view. I don't think it's of any surprise that this rig is worth several hundreds of thousands of dollars, and as you can imagine, it's powered by a top of the line PC with an RTX 4090 an Intel 19 14900K, and 128GB of DDR5 Vengeance RAM. Overall, this is a simply ridiculous setup which I would love to one day experience myself. Thank you Andy for all the effort that you've put into this rig, and of course, along with the submission. 
So with all of that said, this wraps up SimTor Project episode 18. Remember to vote on your favorite setup in the community section of my channel, and if anything caught your eye, you can also find it in the video description. With all of that said, however, as always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.